morning everybody i'm back with a new video i know it's been a long 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 time but in this video i'm going to be trying the main choice hair type four leaf clover collection so i have their shampoo and conditioner if y'all can see that and i have their moisturizing styling cream so um i keep touching my nose because my cat hit me in the face when i was looking for her under the bed she swatted me like on the nose and it formed this really tender like big pimple on my nose like y'all that really that really blew me but anyway so yeah i'm gonna be trying this collection um I'm probably not going to do like a whole twist out reveal and all that. Um, I'm just going to talk about how moisturizing, come back and talk about how moisturizing it feels. Show my twist a day later. Oh my God, my voice. A day later or whatever like that. Because I'm going to be putting some braids in my hair. Um, I'm going to be going on vacation. I'm really excited about that. And yeah, I just, you know, want to be braided up for, for that time. So... Let's see. So as you can see, this is the packaging. It says helps to support natural growth and retention. Um, it has clove oil, flaxseed oil, aloe vera in it. So I'm gonna go and wet my hair, y'all. All right, so my hair is wet. And I'm about to... Okay, it smells good. It kind of smells like grape. It has this type of consistency to it. <sighs> but yeah, so what's been going on? Well, I'm in my fourth year of college, but I'm not graduating. As y'all probably know and have heard me talk about, I changed my major from bio to psych pre-med and then from psych pre-med to just regular psych. Um. So yeah, I mean... You know, I just got to get all those classes out the way. I, Yeah, so I mean, I'll graduate when I graduate at this point. Ooh, this is, huh, this is interesting. It's really, it's really uh soft. I don't know, like sometimes you can feel shampoo like stripping away at your hair. So what I can see so far, you know, I think this, it's kind of, you know, I think it, it got my hair, uh, you know, I think I have a little bit of slip in this. Like, I still have some tangles, but a shampoo with slip, that's very interesting. It smelled like grape, but I think because of the dirtiness and smell of my hair, it's not smelling like that anymore. Like, the smell is not so strong as it was, but... You know, it's giving me something. My hair does feel very soft with it. Okay. This is this is very interesting. I really you know, I really but yeah, I think this is, you know, some pretty good um slip. My hair does not feel dry, it actually feels very soft. You know, I, I really like that because my hair was, y'all, my hair was extremely dry. I mean, y'all saw it. Y'all saw it firsthand. Like, it's crazy. Oh, God, this video is going to be so long. So now the conditioner, which, I mean, it's just the same thing, helps to support natural hair growth and retention. So, ooh, Lord. I left my hair a little bit more wet than I usually do because I really, um, okay supposed to be on towel dry hair okay um i was just trying to take precautions because i am very nervous about how it's going to detangle like i do not want to pull my hair out i've already been pulling my hair out because of finals which is a really bad habit of mine it's not as extreme as people you know diagnosed with pulling their body hair out but anxiously i definitely do pick at my edges and my kitchen and pull the hair out that's something that i've developed over the years this girl 
it's so crazy the the um you know still going still kind of smell like grape laffy taffy you know so it's giving us this consistency very creamy you know i like that but it's very crazy the response to your body and the habits your body picks up to deal with um anxiety way back in the day when i went natural which was in sixth grade so honestly truly it was y'all it was way back when i noticed that you know looking back then and now I've, I've been natural for okay sixth grade to 12th grade that's six years i've been in for about a decade now and just seeing how at first like nobody was catering to kinky and or type four hair so i honestly had to use a lot of the stuff that my mom used on my hair when i was little you know before she relaxed it because of the fact that like you know people wanted to cater to a lot of brands wanted to cater to that curly look and stuff you know not the afro look which i personally feel like the natural hair movement was started by well got a resurgence because of the texturism going on you know in another way of the black is beautiful movement which started in the 50s you know 60s and like i just feel as though brands kind of showed their behinds like we all know there were brands at the beginning that did not have these whole lines only for 4c hair or type 4 hair or whatever like that there were a few brands because i remember um watching 4c youtubers like julesy i love julesy but she doesn't talk about you know hair too much anymore and janelle which i think her youtube was called black is beautiful and she put me on to as i am which was a line that was basically all for type four hair so before that i feel like as i am was like the only thing that that specifically said that it was for you know tighter curled hair and their products were good that co-wash listen i put everybody in my family onto that co-wash but like at the beginning it was just about curly hair like i've had so many people tell me that they would go natural and this was in like sixth grade so imagine you know 11 12 13 i guess year old girls saying that they would go natural but they have hair like mine and not like you know this other girl who was also natural but she had a lot looser curl she was like type 3 3b 3c saying that they had hair like mine but if they had hair like the other girl, then they would go natural. So think about that internalized, you know, texturism in girls that young to where since they don't have this type of natural hair, they feel like they can't, you know, accept their hair or whatever like that. Like that was very odd thing to me. But I'm just wanting to say that it's very interesting how you know majority of the people that i see out in the world especially black women we have 4c hair but 4c hair seems to be extremely underrepresented in you know a lot of the natural hair instagram pages and stuff like that or if they do show 4c hair it's never in that awkward stage you know it always has to be extremely long you know to be shown or that's how it was until you know, 4C started creating its own places and stuff like that. But also, it was very interesting how, like, oh my goodness, I really need to get my ends trimmed. I do not like that sound. But then again, I mean, I could bring it a tangle, but I really just don't feel like it. But yeah, so it was just very interesting how, like, nobody was really catering to the kinky, coily, you know, zigzag girls at first. But then, when we started demanding spaces it became popular to you know throw on what type of curl this product is catered to on their products and come out with the lines for 4c hair whether they actually did something or not but 
I mean, it's very interesting how people start to listen when they figure out that money is involved and that there's a market for it. Because, I mean, look at Fenty. The makeup girlies were literally like saying black people don't buy makeup and nobody wanted to expand their lines. I mean, Maybelline did a good job. Neutrogena did a good job. Covergirl, Queen Collection, you know. But like acknowledging those people for Fenty. And then, you know, we had like Bobby Brown, Milani, you know, that went into darker skin tones. But like Fenty really came in and did it and had what, 40, 50 shades? And now all the girls coming out with 40, 50 shades. And some of them are actually doing it and taking the time. And some of them are not. Like that Beauty Blender foundation. Oh my God, that was embarrassing. But it's just very interesting how, you know, they got to see that there's a market for it, for things to be done. All right, we are done. Whew, so I can rinse this out and then I can try the moisturizing styling cream. So this is all the shed hair that came out of my brush. I mean, I feel like that's about right. You know, they say you lose about 100 hair a day. So that look about right to me. So I'm going to rinse this out. Um, come back, give y'all my final thoughts because I feel like I've been talking for a long time. This is going to be a long video, you know, because I just like to talk in general. I mean, and then, you know, I'm going to use the cream, twist my hair back up, and that'll be it. So far, my hair feels really, really soft. Like it feels very moisturized. Like I'm really feeling this, you know, I'm, I'm really happy with these results. All right, we have rinsed out our hair. Let's see. It says this is for manageability and softening. Let's see. Hair type four, leaf clover moisturizing styling cream provides nourishment, moisture, and soft frizz-free control. Loaded with essential vitamins and nutrients to optimize your healthy hair care regimen. I was about to say regime. It says for curly, wavy, kinky, coily hair. Curly, wavy, kinky, coily hair. Same smell. Um, I found that the shampoo and the conditioner smelled more like that great Laffy Taffy. This smells like great, but it also smells like something else. I can't put my finger on it. But I think it, it smells like something from my childhood, like some kind of like a hair moisturizer that my mom used to use. Not Mazzani, but something else. Wait, this retailer for $14.99 at my local black owned beauty store out here in Southern Louisiana. So very proud. The conditioner was $12.99 and the shampoo was also $12.99. So not, I mean, yeah, a little bit on the higher end, but I feel like, you know, that's higher than it would have been in like Walmart or on their website. But, you know, I know, you know, locally owned businesses have to make their um, profit. So it says apply generously to clean damp hair and distribute evenly styled as, style as desired. For best results, allow hair to completely dry after styling before manipulating. Perfect for wash and go, twist outs and braid outs. Okay, well, I'm basically just using it to moisturize my hair because as y'all know, I am going to be putting in some braids. <sighs> I 
Oh my goodness, my cat is going crazy in my room. Okay. I'm gonna have to open the door. Yes, Miss Olive. So this is the texture. I'm gonna put a good little bit, focus it on my ends because I mean, focus it on my ends, because as y'all saw, girl, the ends struggling. Yes, Miss Olive. What? What's wrong? Hmm? Okay. Yes. I know. Hmm. Applying it to my hair, it has like a, my cat is trying to get in the, in the tub. It, it reminds me of something. It's, it kind of feels like it's lying. Oh, Lord, there's a few things. Kind of feels like it's laying on my hair a little bit. Like there is a film, maybe, like, I'm trying to think what feel it's giving me. It's kind of like, you remember, y'all know back in the day when they would tell you, you need to cocktail your products. And, you know, everybody was like, put the kinky coily in your, um, hmm. Okay, look at the Denman and this combined. Got a little, little some something, something. I'm gonna have to see what this do with a wash and go. But you remember back in the day when everybody was like, you need to cocktail your products. And so they were saying like, put the, what is it? Kinky curly styling gel stuff, like mix it with an oil or like leave-in or something like that. Like everybody was just mixing their products and some people was working, some people was coming out as a goopy mess. This kind of feels like it has a lot of oil in it. Like, it kind of feels like I'm putting lotion on my hair, but not like a styling lotion. Like, you know, Jergens. Like, it's... I don't know. It's just... I don't know. It's just... It has a, a, a feel to it as I'm applying it on my hair. I don't know what the feel is, which I mean, it's not terrible. I just noticed it unless, unless, unless I did not wash out the conditioner as well as I thought I did, which in any case, my bad, because I have a habit of doing that. But. 